my friends are since. I'm on my way just now to pick up a guitar. Fuck's sake. I'm on my way just now to pick up a guitar. Um, I wasn't in the market for a guitar, but the one that I am. Um... Oh, is that my train? Fuck. This particular one is especially unique. It's a black Shergold Masquerader. Shergold are, you know, an old British company from, I think, the 1970s. So it's a kind of vintage guitar. I used to have one when I was a teenager. That's kind of what I played in the band. However, unfortunately, um, I didn't own it. I just borrowed the guitar. And so the guy that I used to borrow it off took it back at some point and I've never been able to find another one or at least not for a reasonable price. But the one in question popped up on Facebook for, you know, an acceptable amount of money and so I knew I had to get it. So that's where I'm going now to meet the guy after the bus. Well, dear viewer, as luck would have it, the guy's bus was actually late and this meant that I had to kick about Glasgow for a while and any time you stand still in this city for long enough, you run into some weird shit and today was no exception. Ended up having to phone an ambulance for an old guy who was lying in the street. Anyway, as you can see, I got the guitar. It's a beautiful all black thing with a nice maple neck and I'll come on to talk about it in a wee bit. But obviously, when you buy a new guitar, you have to celebrate with a wee drink or two, starting with beer. And then, because I'm a very classy man, moving on to delicious cocktails in rather fine surroundings. Now, I got the guitar for a good price, and whilst it was generally in good condition, unfortunately, there was a wee bit of an issue with the neck. It was bowing quite badly, which meant that I was going to have to get it kind of adjusted by someone who knew what they were doing. And luckily, because I am a very successful and important musician, I do have a very good guitar tech locally, so I dropped it into him to take a look and fix it up for me. <laughs> As you can see, I've got the guitar back from my tech now. It didn't take him too long at all, and he straightened out a bunch of issues that I had with it. Specifically, he fixed the problem with the neck bowing out. I guess he adjusted the truss rod or whatever, which I'm glad about because I wasn't sure if he'd be able to do that or if we'd have to find some kind of alternative neck, which would have been a real shame. He also cleaned up all the frets and polished them. He set up the action on the guitar so it's nice and low with the kind of Strings that I want and he also kind of cleaned up the output jack because it was a wee bit scratchy. Now even though he's done all that work there are still a couple of things that are up with this guitar. Unfortunately if you can see there on the third fret on the B string there's a big divot out of the string or out of the fret I should say which means that it kind of buzzes if you hit it right on that point and it looks like somebody who has been using this guitar before or for a long time has basically just been playing what he called cowboy chords so the kind of D and G and A and all that and that's really put a lot of stress on that fret. Now we've adjusted the bridge a wee bit to kind of compensate for that and that isn't a huge deal for the way I play anyway but at some point I'll probably want to replace this fret but I just don't have time to do that before we go on tour next week so at the moment I've just you know I'm just gonna have to live with it and the other thing that I've kind of uh, probably need to fix at some point is that even though it's intonated the bridge is pretty old and fairly worn and we can't get it to perfectly 100% intonate which means that as you go up the neck it gets slightly out of tune now it's not as bad as some of my other guitars so I'm willing to just uh, live with it it's perfectly fine for playing live especially when I'm playing rhythm not lead but uh, I probably won't record with this guitar unfortunately until it's fixed So aside from just pure nostalgia, there's a whole number of reasons that I really love this guitar. The pickups sound brilliant, but also just looks fantastic. That kind of all black weathered look with the cracked paint that's so distinctive and a big trademark of these old Shergold guitars. And especially when you contrast that against the kind of light maple neck, which is actually really beautiful and slick and easy to play on, even for somebody who's not the best guitarist in the world like myself. 
and even the headstock, they kind of chin and pegs and everything just have a really reassuring solidity to them, which just feels brilliant. The other thing that I really like about this one is that it's got the original bridge cover, which is actually quite rare and sought after. And even though it's a bit weird to play with, I've decided to keep it on there because it is quite unique and part of the history of this guitar. Now, I don't really know what else to say about this, apart from to show you that this is the kind of thing I really like. I like weirdo instruments, whether it's synthesizers or guitars. And even though this might be a bit of a nightmare to play or to kind of, you know, it might not be quite as perfect as a brand new Fender Strat or Reverend or whatever, these guitars have a lot of soul and I'm really glad I was able to find this one. I don't really have much else to say about it, um, and I guess that shows that this channel is really definitely not meant to be a guitar channel after all.